Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Game Skits today and only today. We are here with the one and only Brian. Hello, Brian. Hey, how's it going, man? Good to um, talk to you again. I know, I know. It was it was it was like a year ago now, right? That we did the one for Frontiers. Yeah. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, that was back when we announced that. That was last summer. Uh, it was our first time really hanging out on Discord here. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, we actually got to meet in person. We this, did like this past summer game fest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was awesome. It was awesome, man. It was so good. That was uh, that was a fun event. I think uh, I think most of the games there are almost out. Oh, oh, not all of them, but most of them. I know that Disney yeah. game comes out tomorrow. The yeah, Mickey the Disney one. one comes out tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sonic, we don't know when that's coming. Sometime in the fall. Yeah. Um, and uh, I'm trying to think what the other big ones were there. Like uh, Mortal Kombat's Mortal not Kombat's, out yet, obviously. Yeah. Soon, soon. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's September, man. I yeah, can't wait. I can't wait. How did you uh, How did you end up liking uh, Frontiers? Because, you know, obviously we did the interview for it and everything. Yeah, I loved it. Um, yeah. I had you on my podcast. That's we kind true. of both gave our impressions a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I think we both kind of landed on the same spot where we can recognize the faults of that game. We can say like, you know what, this is a kind of a good start for the mm -hmm. direction that we want to go with this franchise. And this was like a really great foundation, but there Absolutely. were some things that, that I of think course. could probably of smooth course. out a little bit, especially <laughs> like the world exploration. Like there were times where I'm like, yeah. how the hell do I get over to that other side of that mountain? I know. Or Have like, you played the DLCs? Or not no, yet. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the story. You should. You should. The, yeah, the, for the sure. Third update. Yeah, they've they've changed like the movement like completely. The game oh, has really? momentum now. So like you oh, like nice. yeah you can there's like sliders now where like you can if you like speed up down a hill and you go up and you'll just jump flying you'll go crazy in there. So it's much more fun. Fixed, did they ever fix the upgrading like your speed? Yes. So like you don't have to do it one yes. by one. Yes. They they changed that. <laughs> they changed that finally. They we forgave Elder Coco. The community forgave the other Coco. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. <laughs> it's a big thing. But yeah, no, nah, uh, they've been updating the game, so I'm happy about that. But yeah, let's let's you know. Obviously, today we are here to talk about 2D Sonic with the uh, Sonic yeah. Superstars. Uh, we both actually got to play this originally at Summer Games Fest. Um, and how, so, how did it happen? How did you guys get this? So I have been in like kind of communication with uh, one of their PR people over mm. there. And, you know, they loved kind of the stuff that we did with Sonic Frontiers on our cover story last summer. And they were kind of like, hey, we have another one. Like, you want to kind of start talking mm -hmm. about if we can do something like that? And, uh, you know, we, we talked about it. We, we kind of worked out like what we could possibly do that was cool and different from what like other outlets and, and influencers are going to be able to do around that time. Mm. And basically it boiled down to like, yeah, you'll come out to Sonic Team, get to play for, I think I got about three hours with it, my oh, first okay, session. Sick. And then, um, you know, interview with Takashi Azuka, multiple interviews with Takashi Azuka. Okay. And then I also, um, unfortunately it was via email, but I did get to interview Naoto Oshima as well. Ooh, okay. amazing. Okay. Um, I've only seen him in person once. I was at GDC one year. Really? And okay, okay. He, he and Yasuharo were doing like a, kind of like the creation of Sonic mm. panel. And so I went to that and like, it was kind of cool to see okay. like Oshima, like draw uh, Sonic, Sonic like right on the spot. Basically oh, like people cool. were like, yeah, draw it this way. And he would nah, do it. It was really neat. That's sick. Um, but yeah, like, I mean, I, I've talked to Takashi Azuka like probably mm. for, I mean, at this point, we've probably spent like 12 hours together. Oh my God. With all, like, <laughs> with all the, all the time that we've talked like, <laughs> between, like you know, I, I used to go to E3 and beforehand oh. I would reach out to to the Sonic PR. That's awesome. Was, like dating dating back to like 2016 and I would be like, mm -hmm. hey, you want to do like a big, like either like state of the franchise or here's a story I want to tell. And like right. we would just sit down for like two hours straight and talk. That's and awesome. then like subsequent interviews and everything, like, you know, we, we had long conversations. This time, you know, I interviewed him for about 45 minutes at Summer Game Fest and mm. then had another two hours with him last week. <laughs> God. Uh, we, we actually went back out to Burbank. So I actually, wow. by the time, because you at Summer Game Fest, you had already played Sonic yes. Superstars when we met. Yeah. And I was like, hey, I have like an extra slot. Do you <laughs> yeah. want it? And I gave it, I gave you my slot. <laughs> Thank God. And you got to play it again. Mm. And the reason for that was because I already, I had already played for three hours. Man, <laughs> come <game>. on. <laughs> That's I was like, look, I got my impressions kind of down. Okay, 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 damn. <laughs> so anyway, that that was back at Summer Game Fest time right. frame, and then last week, me and my uh, my video editor mm. went back out there and we shot videos with Takashi Azuka, Ivo Gerskovich, who's kind of like the head of Sonic Team from like the uh, kind of like the executive side. Right, right. And then we also have some cool stuff coming with another person on their team Ooh. that uh, we'll be able to to show some of those videos. Or I think we're only doing one video, and the other one's going to be a segment on my podcast. Okay, okay, uh, sick. talking 
talking about certain elements mm. of Sonic that have happened over the last year. So that's, yeah, a, yeah. that's a hint right there. Of course. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I see, I see, I see. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, obviously, you know, we, we've kind of given, like, and I, I've given initial impressions of the game. Like, I love, because I got to play originally the first level uh, and the second level. What are they called, by the way? Do you have those? Yeah. On Bridge Island Zone Bridge is the Island. one that's kind of like Green Hill and okay. Emerald Hill combined, and mm. then Speed Jungle Zone. Speed Jungle, okay, that's awesome. Yeah, so I got to play those two. I thought they were great. I thought they were they were very fun. Uh, but how much of the game did you end up getting to play? So I played through the first six zones, and if wow. that Nintendo Direct trailer that they gave us a couple months ago, was or like, it was last month, yeah, they said twelve. They said twelve. So that's yeah. about half the game. I'm assuming they're. they're I mean. They've got to have like a 13th zone, yeah, right? Where it's like kind of like a, a final confrontation. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Unless of a zone more of a boss, probably. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hopefully it's like a doomsday zone type of thing from Sonic I love 3 that. Knuckles. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Also, man. that music is so good. That music in Doomsday Zone is Yeah, unmatched. of course. Of course. Mu <laughs> I mean, you're speaking of like music, right? Like, hey, listen, music is very important because that Summer Game was barely able to hear it. There's a million noises. You got to hear it isolated. We know Jun Senue and T Lopes are on it. How yeah. was the music overall? Were you vibing? Was it like, were you, was it upbeat? Was it like enjoyable? Like did it, cause I, the Tilo said that his work on this, he thinks is better than his work on Mania, which is kind of a, a, a crazy claim, <laughs> you know? So how yeah, were the tracks? That's a high bar. That is a high bar. Um, they were very good. I, I liked okay. them a lot. Like there were multiple occasions where I was like, oh, this is a good one. Like, okay. I, I like this song a lot. And from what I understand it, what I was hearing might not mm. have even been the final mixes because, you know, I'm playing a pre-release build that okay. was different from the one that people were playing at Summer Game Fest. Right. So, you know, there were some things that I was just like, oh, this this sounds really good. And okay. It, it's kind of been clarified that like, yeah, well, you, there's not a whole lot of... Uh, like there might be some changes that happen just okay. because you know it's any any kind of pre-release game but yeah what i was hearing there were jams okay that's good that's good as long as and i love jams. t lopes as well like Jim yeah sent away i mean obviously his work with crush 40 is mm -hmm. amazing and then um t lopes just like what can, what else could you say like between the streets of rage 4 dlc so sonic good. mania tmnt shredder's yeah. revenge god yeah, like that is. guy just he gets it. Hit after hit. He gets it. He just he it's he's he's one of the few video game people I'm like if I, he's on a soundtrack I'll buy the game. Like genuinely. Yeah, and like I, I heard that uh and I actually told T Lopes this where mm. I was like, yeah, you know, I I heard June Senaway was on it and I was like, oh, that's great. Like I love his mm. work. Like he does a lot of really great compositions and songs, especially again the Crush 40 stuff which mm. doesn't really seem like it would fit this game you in know? particular, yeah. but like, you know, he still writes really great songs. But yeah. then when I heard T. Lopes was involved, I was like, oh, man, yeah, this is going to mm. be banger after banger. Well, I think that's important because I think people like Jin Sunway on, like, the more rock side, but they, like, th there's question marks whenever he's worked on more, like, classic tunes, you know? So mm -hmm. having him working with T is probably, like, a better idea on the mixings uh, of stuff there. But obviously, you know, we're talking about the music in Zones. Talk to me about the zones. So, like, the, what are the new zones you got to play? How'd you feel about them? What's what's the rundown? You know, what are the ones yeah. after the two that everyone's seen? The jungle and uh, Bridge Island and the uh, Speed Force. Speed Jungle. Speed Jungle. Speed Jungle. Yeah. So the next one is Sky Temple Zone. Okay. And what that is, it, it almost reminds me of Sky Sanctuary. It's like okay. the obvious comparison. Meets probably like Windy Valley from Sonic Adventure. Right. That's 1. what I was saying when I saw the screenshots. It looked like Windy Valley. Yeah, and like, you know, they, they were very clear, like, uh, Izuka was very, very clear to be like, you know, we, we didn't really, like, look too much at, like, past games as far as, like, zone inspiration, yeah, like, we wanted good. to kind of build something. But they still have, like, a lot of, like, the, the core tenets that you would expect from zones, like, the, the way he described it was like, all right, well, Bridge Island is kind of like the, all right, this is like, you're playing a Sonic yeah. game zone. Like, yeah. this is like, you are, like, this this kind of is, like, meant to, like, get you up to speed. Yeah. And like how you're you're playing this game, and like you know this is the basic mm. easiest way you can get onboarded to playing a Sonic game. Of course, Speed Jungle they like to have like like think of like Chemical Plant, uh, right? Think of Hydra City where it's like the second zone is kind of like a faster it's, pace. Yes, like, yeah, yeah. I noticed because you're all you're doing so many like grind rails on like the the yeah. vines and everything. So that's what the the idea behind Speed Jungle was. Sky Temple was kind of like, all right, this is like kind of your technical platform. Okay, zone. okay. You've got okay. the basics down through those first two zones. So Sky Temple is kind of that. But like the interesting thing is, Speed Jungle actually has three acts. Right. So there's Act One, Act Two, and then there's Act Sonic that you can do. Right. I saw it in, in your interview, in your uh, coverage about that. That's wild. Yeah. So basically, it's like a that's their way of kind of expanding on the story a little okay. bit. So like, if you want to get like a story moment, you can choose to play Act oh. Sonic. And in that, 
you take control of Sonic specifically because you know mm. you can play as any of the four uh, playable characters right. in any of the levels. Uh -huh. But for that, you have to play as Sonic, and it's like Knack is uh, Knack. I always Knack. say Knack because that's what he was named in Triple Trouble back when I got introduced to him. <laughs> Fang. Fang. Fang, uh, Fang the Hunter now. Mm. It used to be Fang the Sniper, now Fang the Hunter. Wait, they um, changed it? He's the Hunter now? That's what oh. I'm here. Like, I, I don't oh, know. That's like, I, yeah, so he was Knack the Weasel in the U.S. localization yeah. of Triple Trouble, but he was right. always Fang the Sniper, like, abroad, mm. and now he's Fang the Hunter, from what I understand. Okay, okay, cool. So, I mean, I guess that makes sense, because he's kind of like a bounty hunter. I don't yeah. think he's ever fired a sniper rifle in, <laughs> no, like, no, the I modern don't. games. <laughs> <laughs> just headshotting I need Sonic. him to do that. Just pull it up. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, yeah, he, he's basically, like, chasing you through right. an area of Speed Jungle, and, mm -hmm. like, you just have to kind of avoid his attacks while you're going. It almost reminds me of, like, the, the Metal Sonic Right, yeah, we saw, like, like kinda... two seconds of in the Nintendo Direct chill, I remember. Yeah, um, so... That is what the third act is in Speed Jungle. And from okay. what it appears, it almost seems optional because when I finished Act 1, maybe this was just the build that I was playing. Okay. When I finished Act 1, it was like, do you want to play Act Sonic or Act 2? And I was like, right. oh, well, let's see what this Act Sonic thing is all did about. It, did it matter what character you were or no matter what it asks you? Like, like let's say you played through the level as Knuckles. When you beat it, will it be like, do you want to do Act Sonic? Or were you just playing a Sonic regardless? I was already playing okay. a Sonic, but when but later on there's an act Amy. Right. And I chose that and it switched me to Amy automatically. Okay, so you weren't Amy. Okay, so you don't have to like beat the level as that character no. to get Okay, okay, cool. That's yeah, good. So thing. Sky Temple only has one act though. Interesting. But it's like a really long act. And it has like, um, you know, it, it took me about like eight or nine minutes to get through it. Okay. Like that's how long that act is. Okay. And it's like it, it's it is kind of technical platforming and there's like these like cloud robots that'll come around like it's definitely okay. like taking advantage of like cool. you're up in the sky um kind of theme mm -hmm. and then uh at the end much like windy valley like it, the there's like a huge storm that comes oh, and hits and like awesome. makes so like everything is kind of floating okay, almost like in cool. the tornado sequence of windy valley that's cool and then that continues into the eggman battle and the way like the, the battles are all set up is like at the it's kind of sonic three and knuckles where like at right. the end of act one you fight like a robot and then right. at the end of act two you fight eggman in like some the boss yeah but in this one, because there's only one zone, it's just an Eggman battle. Okay. And um, so, yeah, and that was a really, that, that may have been my favorite boss battle really? that I played. And I, I, th I think that the boss battles were like my main takeaway from all my hands-on impressions. Really? They, they stood out that they much? Were, yeah, they were really, really creative. Mm. They were really fun for the most part. And like, they had a decent amount of challenge without being like, oh my God, like I'm going to throw my controller right. into the are they? Are they, um, are they more like the original games where you can like spam hit the boss or do they make it so that you get a hit then the boss sort of like backs away, does some moves so you can't hit him a second time, then gets you ready. Some of them I was able to spam hit a little bit, but mm. it, I would say they were more like, they kind of like make sure that you only can get one right. hit in because like sometimes they'll transition to a new phase where you can't really hit them. Right, okay. Or like they're like, in there's one, like one of the speed jungle bosses is like a mosquito robot. Yes, I, don't that know if one you I remember. That one. And like each he time a... you hit him, he goes to the next screen. Yeah, so I remember can't that. Do yeah. Yeah, and that was uh, a but, fun boss. I, I like that they have like layers to them and it's not, again, I, I would rather that than just like spam hitting the boss and beating him in a few hits, you know? Yeah, really well, the, the thing that I noticed was that with the Emerald Powers, right. that is like a really good way to take out like a boss that you're struggling with because mm. like, you know, Avatar, which is the first one that you unlock, yeah. is the one that runs all the clones right, across yeah. the screen. And that basically will finish off one of the phases Destroy. of the boss. Like I did that like when I was on Bridge Island, like I okay. was facing Eggman for the first time. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna take him out with that, the, the Emerald hey, Tower. That. And I did that. And then there was another phase. I'm like, well, crap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So wait, luckily, what, uh, what, <laughs> what uh, so you said like you love the Sky Temple boss. What was it like? What was the hook mechanic so of it? It's basically like you have to platform up on these floating platforms that are in the middle oh, of like, it looks okay, like maybe you're in those. the middle of the tornado. Okay. And you platform up and then you you hit Eggman and he's like doing other, he's like throwing projectiles and everything. Right. And then he'll destroy the ground and you kind of fall back down. Oh. And like you have to dodge his projectiles while you're falling. That's cool. And then more platforms come up and you have to keep working your way up. And each time you have to climb up, it's it's a little bit more challenging. Mm. Okay, that's cool. And you said you said the no that that zone uh was like was not was eight to nine minutes, right? It was one big zone. Did you like that? Like do you did you like the idea of one big zone or do you like it better like a few minutes and a chunk? I don't it know. It was a nice change of pace because okay. you know a lot of these a lot of these stages you know you're done after like a few minutes mm. and like especially like the early stages I think I the 
third or fourth time I played like Bridge Island Act One, it right. was like I speed ran it in like right. two minutes or something like good. that. That's like, a good thing with Sonic, I guess. Yeah, but like, you know, having kind of the longer stuff, like mm. I don't really mind that all that much because okay, cool. it, it is nice to like break up the, the super quick hit stages, mm. with, especially since this was like the more technical platforming level, you know? Right. Yeah, no, I get you. So you did Scott Temple. What comes after that? Uh, next is, I mean, you're going to tell, I'm going to be like, I've told you what each individual one right. kind of represents. The name of this one alone will probably hint you off of right. what kind of uh, stage this is. Pinball Carnival Zone. Right. Okay. <laughs> I, I wonder, I just, I really wonder what this could be. <laughs> we saw like another, we also saw like a look at this in the direct trailer where like, yeah. like there's like fire. Is this the one where there's like fireworks going off and stuff? Okay. Yeah, so fireworks and like there's like the obviously like the pinball areas right. and there's like these like spheres that you can get stuck in almost, but like it's only oh. for a short period of time. And when okay. you do that, your character you saw this in the direct as well, you kind of bounce around a whole lot. Right. And then when it breaks, you get like a swirl of rings that come flying in. Okay, you. okay, okay. Um and you know, it's it's a fun level. I I'll my admission is I've never been the like the biggest fan of like the pinball levels. The pinball in Sonic carnival games. levels, got you. Yeah, like like uh, like in Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 like they were always kind of maybe it's just because of the barrel of death right the barrel of uh, death yeah. yeah but like I, I mean I, I remember being stuck on that back when I was yeah. like in second grade and being like oh my how do I get out of that like, like you're, you're having a time of your life playing yeah, Sonic 3 and I'm just like you're they, they trick you into thinking you can you're just like, jump rotating. and it'll like yeah god that and then that eventually I think painful. it was like game Game Pro magazine I found out it was like you know, push up and down. <laughs> oh, God. They had to publish like a, a tip to get through the yeah, stage that's... because like nobody could figure it out back <laughs> that's in the day. Crazy. Um but yeah, so maybe that's just like kind of like some PTSD from mm. that stage is why I don't really like the <laughs> pinball levels. But like I get it. They're very I, gimmicky, was, I get this it. This one was pretty fun though. Okay. You know, that's like, good. But yeah, this one was rather fun. Mm. Um and then I liked the second act a lot. The first one was kind of Ooh. like a straightforward like pinball one. Okay. The second one, it transitions from kind of like daytime carnival to okay. like nighttime carnival. Oh, and kind that's of gives awesome. Like a, like a haunted carnival kind of vibe. Oh, that's like, sick. Like some of the robots will have like ghosts, like ghost sheets over top of them. Oh, and that's stuff. awesome. And I love like, that. And it's more of like a roller coaster than a, uh, like okay. a pinball machine. Okay. So like you hop on these platforms and they like speed forward and you have to dodge enemies while like it's going really oh, fast. Shit. And then like every once in a while there'll be like other platforms and you have to choose which one to get on. And then other ones will like break and you have to like kind of manage like, all right, mm. well I need to jump to that one because this one's about to break. And then other times it'll be like, there'll be like arrows pointing up and that's when you know it's time to jump. You gotta and there's jump. these rings that'll send you flying up okay. and that'll take you to the next section. Oh, that's sick. I love that. So, yeah, I love that, that. that was fun. Okay, that's awesome. And that one also yeah. had a boss, uh, but didn't have a character act, right? Uh, no, it did not have a character act that I, okay. I noticed. And um, the first boss is like this clown that like okay. comes out and he has like these medallions and you have to hit the medallions and flip them over. Oh. And once you flip all the medallions that he drops, he gets stunned and you then can, you hit, can him. hit him. Okay, that, cool. That's the robot boss. And then the Eggman boss is mm -hmm. he has like these roulette wheels. Right. And he'll drop them on the ground and the roulette wheels will be like spinning like bombs and uh. they'll throw them at you. And if you dodge them, you can jump in the roulette wheel and then use like the timing and the momentum to shoot yourself. Ah, oh, that's cool. That's cool. It's okay. pretty creative. I like that's that one awesome. a lot too. That's awesome. It's good yeah. to know. Well, I mean, also like, it's just, how do you feel? I mean, I'll, we'll get to the other acts as well, but, but before like, how do you feel about like the level design of them? We, we, Cause there's been a lot of concern that like, you know, Arzest is working on the game, right? And a lot of, you know, their track record isn't the best. It's like Yoshi's New Island, Balin, uh, yeah, what's Balin. it called? Uh, hey, Pikmin, you know, they've worked on some stuff that isn't the best, but we know they've been closely working with Sonic Team, but how did, you know, what what info did you get on that and how was the level design in your opinion? I thought the level design was really good, actually. Okay. Um, a, it, it definitely shows that Naoto Oshima, like who <laughs> was one of the guys for, with Sonic from the very yeah. start, you know, he created the character mm -hmm. of Sonic. You, you can tell that his influence is there and like he knows how That's to good. make like a good like branching pathway 2D okay. side scrolling uh, level. And also, yeah, he did work closely with Takashi Azuka and, um, you know, he kind of it seemed like Oshima handled kind of like the, the overseeing of the, the development from a mm. direct perspective. Whereas Izuka kind of like oversaw like the entire production, whether that was like handling some administrative stuff, like, right. all right, we've got to like get these approvals for like this design of this thing. And he would kind of mm. handle that because like, you know, he's been around the series for about like more than 30 years at this yeah, point, which absolutely. is crazy. He's so, been like, there for a long time. 
it's wild. Like uh, he, he better know how to make a good Sonic yeah, exactly. game at this no, point. I know. <laughs> so, like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, the, com the combined knowledge of him and Oshima, who you know was with Sonic from the start all yeah. the way up to Sonic Adventure One, like you know they have a good idea of how to make That's a good two D, a well designed stage in a two D Sonic game. That's awesome. Then that's good. That's good. So we get so we got we get to the carnival. What's the level afterwards? We have my favorite, which is Ooh. Lagoon City. Okay, okay. Which one is this? Did we see a screenshot so, of this or not yet? I don't know if you've seen a screenshot of it. I mean, in the cover story itself, I think there's a screenshot of it. Yeah, uh, there's there's actually if you look at my Emerald Powers article right. on GameInformer.com. Is it the bullet one or the one when uh, Sonic's underwater? So yeah, that's both of them. So okay. there's the bullet oh, one sick. where there's a kind of like a jellyfish boss. Yes. Yeah. That is the first boss of Lagoon oh, City. Oh, okay. And then um, the underwater part, I think, is Act Two. Okay. And okay. that is that's showing off the water emerald All right. power. But oh, so your fair, your yeah. fair loads a water level. How so? Tell me what's going on there. I did not anticipate that happening, uh -huh. but think less like um, aquatic ruin and uh, more like Hydra City. Okay. Or Hydra City, which, by the way. I asked uh, Izuka, course. how do you pronounce and he said, Hydro City? Uh -huh. And he, his his uh, very specific answer was, I'm not a native English speaker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So they're just going to leave us thinking forever. I get yeah. it. It's, it's he, fine. You know, <laughs> even though it is Hydro City, but it's like, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> As a kid, I always said hydrosity, but now I'm like, yeah, it probably is hydrosity. Like, I'm, I'm man enough to admit that. I can, I can. <laughs> Some people can't. They can't grow up. <laughs> but yeah, like it's more hydro city than any of the other like really? sonic water levels. Okay. Which is what I love so much about. Like literally, the first stage is like, or the first act is like water slides and like awesome. running across like the surface and everything. And then the second stage or the second act kind of transitions you to more like underwater stuff, but okay. it's not not a ton of like underwater platforming. I did bring tails into this one, by the way, because I, I figured it would be a good one to have a, somebody yeah. who can swim. Yeah. So I was swimming around with tails, mm. but um, you know, like it wasn't like unbearable underwater platforming okay. that we've seen in some Sonic games and even right. some Mario games, which, you know, Mario, you're yeah. swimming, I guess, technically, but you know what I mean. Yeah. But there are a lot of, like, then the drowning music is back in full force, oh, so don't worry if, perfect. like, your your anxiety hasn't, like, Let's given go. up. Let's go. I love day. anxiety. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, like, so that is the underwater level of mm. uh, Lagoon City, but, like, there are also, like, bubbles that you okay. get inside of. And it, you have to kind of navigate them around like enemies and like oh, okay. spike traps. Like, Hydra, so, like, like Hydra City. Yeah, yeah, okay, exactly. Cool, cool, so like, cool. I think they took the right cues from like past underwater Sonic right. games. Cause yeah, there's some underwater platforming. Oh, by the way, one thing about Sky Temple that I really liked okay. was like a lot of these stages have like kind of like gimmicks, like Pinball Carnival had like the roller coaster thing. Right. Um, this has, you know, the game Breakout? Like it yes. used to be like on like the old cell phones. Yeah, like, yeah, where yeah. It's, like, when the like you, break, and you, have you the, break the brakes, yeah. The ball back, yeah. There, there is like a breakout mini game oh, that's cool. in Sky Temple that's cool. where like there's like a paddle basically you jump on and you turn uh, into like a, a, a spinball oh, that's and cool. you've got to aim and shoot and like hit break through the bricks in awesome. order to like either like I think there's a couple that you can choose which mm. path like if you want to like break more bricks you'll have to like get like rings or power oh, that's or, dope. Like that. but, or you just like golden path it and like just <laughs> okay 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 it. that's cool yeah. I, how does there not been a sonic brick break game like that <laughs> <laughs> we need more. We, I, I take that now that I want it. Now that he's mentioned it. Yeah, I mean, it's fun. I mean, hopefully they do more with yeah. it because, like, I, I enjoyed that gimmick in Sky That's Temple. That's sick. That's sick. <laughs> um, but yeah, Lagoon City. That, so, really, like, the, the water slides were fun in Act 1. The underwater sections weren't, like, bad in Act mm. 2. Like, they're as good as, like, an underwater section can be okay. in a 2D platformer. Right. And, um, you know, bringing tails in is a, is a good pro tip there, but also like, you know, the water emerald power just allows you to kind of move freely. Right. So um, Lagoon City, a lot of fun. And then the uh, the boss there is underwater. So you have Ooh. to fight Eggman underwater. So it's like, kind of like this, this kind of like crusher machine that he has where okay. he's like up and, and you have to like platform and avoid like projectiles. I think there's enemies that he throws at you too. Okay. And then like, you know, just kind of jump over at him and, and hit him right. that way. and. I think at first it is a vertical or a horizontal yeah, vertical fight. It starts vertical, and, like, okay. So you're going up, up and okay. hitting him, and like if you fall down, like you're kind of like stuck in the blender. Oh like, kind right, of right, okay, There's, okay. And then if you, and then I think the second, uh, the the second phase is like a horizontal where okay. like, you have to climb and then hit him that way. Interesting. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, 
And then the last the last zone that I played was Sand Sanctuary. Okay. And I kind of I, I kind of had to speed run this because the PR person was like, all right, we're coming up to the end of your really? time. I'm like, all right, oh, I'm man. just going to try to get through this as okay. fast as possible. Okay. So I actually kind of speed ran it. It has like the vulture robots and like the, uh, right. the scorpion robots with like the kind of spike ball at the end of their tail. Okay. okay. It has like it, kind of like the um, Sandopolis zone mm. of uh, SK, uh, S3 and Knuckles. S3 and Knuckles, okay. And where it has like kind of like the, the, the spinning spike ball. Oh, that you have to avoid. right. Okay. Okay. Interesting. God, I'm not entirely remembering what the act one boss was. Okay. Uh, but the act two boss was a really fun one where you're, you're fighting Eggman. He's off in uh. the distance. He kind of has like a giant like mecha that looks like grounder. Okay. The, uh, okay. Yeah. From like Sadam. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he, uh, and he like he's off in the distance, and you're you're on platforms in quicksand. Okay. So you have to kind of like he he'll throw he'll send like enemies like burrowing, and they'll pop up and okay. like come down to attack you. Some of them have like spikes on the front, and the ones that don't, you can you hit, hit and them. send them back at him. I've got it. Okay. Those are like free hits because if you don't do that, it's okay because he'll still come over and like try oh. to like attack from underneath okay. and destroy some of the platforms. Okay, sick. But when he does that, you can attack him. But you have to avoid the ones that he's like about to come. Okay. Out okay. Got it. Got it. So yeah. that's fun. It was one of the longer that's boss cool. battles that I had. The hardest one, I think, was the Lagoon City one, where you're like really? climbing up in the storm. Yeah. Um, by the way, uh, Lagoon. No, wait. I'm sorry. That was Sky Temple. Uh. Lagoon City is the one that has Act Amy, where oh, you're like okay. it's like a, a fruit themed stage, where like okay. <laughs> there's like grape grape robots and watermelons with really? guns and like, and yeah. So like you're going through and like uh, uh, taking on all these like fruit you said robots it was an and, escort like, mission, no? In your article, yeah. So you so you get to the, like maybe two thirds through the level um, and she finds this character trip right who is the new character the designed masked by, character yeah it's like the masked mm. character that we've seen a little bit of yeah and uh trip is the new character that's created by naoto oshimo mm. which you know is kind of cool because he's back for the yeah. first time in a long while yeah and um yeah trip is like kind of like the neck like the third enemy like, right. it's not like a like, but like she's like not a super like <laughs> menacing enemy right, like yeah. you know it's not like infinite or like mephilus where they're like oh look how powerful this guy <laughs> yeah. is like trip is kind of like this like they, they went for like kind of like more relatable right and okay like, okay so like they're like yeah like the first time you see her she kind of like falls on her face right yeah yeah i've seen and that then, like, it's, it's funny yeah. <laughs> and this time like you know amy com comes upon her and just like she's like sitting down on the ground like looking uh, all dejected and amy's just like i'll help you so uh, she like picks her up and so like you can't you lose amy's double jump you lose her oh, ability to use hammer the carry Dude, it's just it's just like pure platforming at that that's point. cool that's it that's that's smart i like that actually a lot yeah. yeah so i don't know like how they're gonna work her into being like a an enemy that we're gonna like have to be like concerned right. about but i will have an article <laughs> about it like with quotes from both uh oshima okay. and izuka I think next week is when that article goes okay. live. Okay, so because I was, was going to say, like, I wonder if there's any info about, like, is that what the character looks like? Or are they, is the mask supposed to be off at some point, you know? So I did, um, I asked Izuka about, okay. like, what is the, um, like, what is the, the animal that you guys are going for? Because, yeah. like, Oshima was like, yeah, this is a, uh, like, an armored lizard or an Ouroboros. And right. I'm just like, but it has, like, a raccoon tail or something yeah, <laughs> he's yeah. like so what, what kind of animal and basically they took inspiration from it's called the sun gazer lizard okay in um in english but in japanese like the literal translation is like armored lizard oh so okay. that's the inspiration they took so like, if you look at the armor it actually does look like armored lizard, it's right. like like a lizard even though it might not be a lizard underneath right. the armor, i don't know like, it, it's kind of like a weird <laughs> situation there right <laughs> so yes yeah, so there's that and then like um so yeah, that was like the end of Act Amy, Act and like Amy. Okay. you know, she she plays really well too. Like, if you played her in Sonic Ma or Sonic Origins, Origins Plus, right? Like, you kind of have an idea of how yeah. she controls. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Except for the double jump, they they she doesn't have yeah. a double jump in in Origins, but she has it in in yeah. this. It's cool. That's kind of like the uh, the the reason when I whenever I asked Izuka like back in like oh God, probably like 2016, 2017, right. like why can't you like turn into supersonic in sonic one yeah. like in like all the re-releases and why can't you play as knuckles in sonic uh, one you can bring him into sonic two and he's like yeah if you had knuckles in sonic one like you would just break the game because right. like those levels weren't designed <laughs> with any kind of like height to them, right you know yeah. like yeah, yeah. So, like if you jump like you would just jump off screen mm -hmm. and like try to glide like yeah you would just completely break everything there's no real like 
there's not a whole lot of real like walls that Knuckles could like climb into. Right, right. And all that stuff. But like Sonic 2, it was a little bit better designed for that. Right. Yeah, exactly. No, I get that for sure. So you did that, you did the sand levels, and that was all the levels you got to try, right? Yeah, and then I, I learned about two more stages. Mm. Um, I didn't, so Press Factory was the next zone right. that I uh, I saw, but like it, it wasn't like, they basically they turned it off as soon as the level started. Oh, so I didn't okay, get it. Okay. But um, tomorrow, if this goes up today, okay. Friday, if you go to GameInformer.com, you'll have screenshots of that. Perfect. As well as screenshots of Golden Capital Zone. Right, that's the Gold is, City one we've seen a lot yeah, of. Yeah, that's another stage that you can, you can get another look at mm. that too. Okay. Yeah, those are all the zones that I know of, which, okay. you know, that's the first eight zones, yeah. essentially. I mean, I don't know I don't know if Golden Capital is right after Press Factory mm -hmm. or if that's just another zone they wanted to show off. Because basically, like, they were like, yeah, we wanted to show this one because it looks cool. Right, like, yeah. Right, fair enough. Yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> well, I like, I've seen that, that one shot where Knuckles is, like, standing on a wall with the Eggman logos and it's, like, black and green. Uh, is it that one? That is a different level. I don't think so. I mean, maybe. It's a different level? If it's the one that you saw on GameInformer.com, then yeah, that's it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it was like, it's like Knuckles, like, he's standing on a wall and, like, the Eggman logos are green. It looks very factory-like, so. I'm bringing it up now yeah, to see yeah, if yeah. I can. <laughs> see if you can decipher it, but. Um, yeah, well, it, it sounds like it. Yeah, for sure. I get that. Um, yeah, okay, so that's good. So, yeah, I mean, we see, so you didn't get to see more of that, like, that one we saw in the initial trailer, like, that pixel art world kind of. No, but I did right. get um, that kind of like when they turn into like the squids. Yeah, um, and they're voxely. That is not like a yeah. That's not like an emerald power or anything like that. That's just a gimmick that that's happens solely in that zone. Yeah. Um, and just even the Pixar itself, like when they're voxelated, do we know if that's a gimmick of yeah, that I, level? I think that's just a gimmick of that level. Okay. Okay. So the one with the green Eggman uh -huh. uh, emblems, that is Press Factory. Got it. Okay. Yeah. And then the one that like. Knuckles is standing on a platform and there's like lava beneath him and it's like kind of like a gold platform that that's is golden capital. Um, that's golden capital and then there's one where Knuckles is fighting a, a pig it looks like and that <laughs> yeah is... no the gold the golden pig which I enjoy <laughs> I like that a lot <laughs> okay well did you get to replay any of those or you really only got one shot and uh, no, so you did... I did three hours with the the game in the, uh, during like June okay. and then last week I went back and got to play more those new ones. and okay. that was really great and okay. I, I basically I watched I, for like we only had two hours with it that time mm. that time I the first hour I let my video editor get his hands on it because he, he only played it at SGF he right. was doing the extended stuff and then I played some more of it so I played some more of Sky okay. Temple I played some more of uh, Lagoon City and I played Act Two of Pinball Carnival okay okay did um. How did like for the other kids I when I played the when I played uh what's it called the first two zones of the game they felt accommodated to the uh, all the characters did, did that continue to feel that way where like when you replay the levels like it felt like every character had like a fun way to play that level and there's a reason to or yeah I mean like they all have the distinct abilities right mm. like you know Sonic has this, the drop dash knuckles yeah. can climb and glide tails can fly and swim and Amy has her hammer and double jump and mm. everything so they, they all kind of can attack it in the, 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 the their own unique ways. Okay. I would say Sonic almost feels like the hardest one to play as, just because yeah. you know he 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 doesn't have the the most diverse moves. Yeah, and no, he just has drop sure. dash, which is just a faster way yeah. to twist spin dash. Which Amy technically has, right? Because if you drop yeah. dash with Amy, she like runs really quick with the hammer. She has the hammer. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you know uh, that that's also kind of like. I like that the characters are set apart in that way because all the emerald powers right. except for one affect right. them in the same way, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. that was the other thing that we really got to like dig into a little bit. Um, which you know, we know about Avatar, know about we've talked about water already. Right. Um bullet bullet is the one where you jump up in the air and you can kinda like pause and choose which direction you want right. to fire. Um we've seen vision in the vision trailer. In the direct, yeah. Where it kinda like just like it shows, shows off that like if there's but I learned that there there is like an indicator. I did not know this, really? uh, but Azuka told me that there's an indicator that tells you when you use when you should use it. When you should use so vision. Like, oh, yeah. that's cool. So like, because I was like, if it's revealing stuff that you can't see otherwise, how would I like? Am I yeah. just gonna go around like use vision like? Spam and be like it? Oh, well, yeah. there, there goes my emerald <laughs> right. power until yeah. I hit the next checkpoint. Um, and then uh, slow. Just, I mean, it's exactly what the name right. is. It just. Do you ever? Do you find any use for slow, or would you like never use slow? I feel like I didn't. 
I didn't have slow in my okay. playthrough actually, so okay. I didn't get enough emeralds for it. Um, really? Okay, you never got all all the chaos emeralds. I didn't get all of them. Not in, not okay. in my playthrough. Okay. No, because I was just trying. To, I mean, I, I played a few of the special stages. I think mm. I got three chaos emeralds, and then I was just like, you know, I'm just gonna kind of try to get as deep into this game right. as possible. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was like okay. okay, I understand. That's the, cool. uh, I knew I was. I knew I was getting the information about yeah. the emerald power, so I didn't have to like try to jot down as much as mm. I could. But yeah, Avatar Ivy was the Ivy's the other one where it's like the green chaos emerald. It, it gives you the ability to grow mm. like a vine out of the ground. Right. And then you can actually have your co-op partners jump on jump that. On I, 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 I can play co-op, unfortunately. Okay. okay. Um, that was that was not allowed in my That's playthrough. Fair. That's Otherwise, fair. Otherwise, we were we were passing the controller okay. when Alex and I were there. <laughs> um, and so slow, I. I I made the joke to Izuka that like it almost sounds like Chaos Control, and he, he's okay. just like, eh, maybe a little, a little bit. bit. <laughs> I get it. Because <laughs> like you know everything slows down yeah. for you in Chaos Control. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, Extra is the one that I wish I could have tried out because that is the one that the gives every character ability. their own unique thing. Mm -hmm. So like Sonic is the homing attack. That's which, awesome. You know, if you, if you played Sonic Four, you know that that doesn't always mean good. Yeah. <laughs> but one, it's a hundred percent optional, and two. It's temporary, I think that right? This game plays so much better. Yeah, than, of course. Than Sonic Four. Of course, I went yeah. back and played some Sonic Four, like right before I went uh, on this trip to go play, and I was like, "God, night and day." Just, yeah, it, yeah. It's, and then I played <laughs> Sonic Mania. I played like a couple hours of Sonic Mania last night. And I'm like, "Yep, this is a lot closer to what Superstar yeah, is." Yeah, for which sure. I think it's the highest endorsement you can give. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, um, you, you were talking yeah. about that, right? The Mania stuff of how this game technically kind of just is Mania Two, right? From what you kind of yeah. understood, you know. I mean, yeah, talking to, like, Izuka, it was like, yeah, we had conversations with Christian Whitehead, mm -hmm. and, like, we both kind of wanted to do something that wasn't, like, pixel art. We didn't want to do, like, something yeah. that was, like, going back and doing, like, the greatest hits again. Like, Mania was, like, 60-40, like, old yeah. stages and new stages. Yeah, yeah. We wanted to do something that was all new stages. We wanted to do something that was kind of modern visuals. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's unfortunate that, like, we didn't get to do that with Christian, but we're really right. happy that we got to do this with Arzist. And, That's cool. That's know, cool. It, that, and, and Christian backed me up on that completely independent, or backed Azuka up on that completely independent. Okay. Like, you know, that the the comments that I got from Christian were not through Sega in any way. Shape Interesting. Or form. Okay. Was, yeah, yeah. That was completely independent. Okay. I emailed Christian, and that's good. Uh, you know, he, he got back to me. So, yeah. So yeah, that was um, that that's good to know that like mm. you know they're still friendly because I would love to see them. Like Christian made some of the best like classic game ports, yeah, and then sure. also you know. Sonic Mania, Mania, of course, may be the best 2D game that ever came out on yeah. Sonic, for Sonic. And like, I mean, I'm a, I'm a staunch Sonic Three and Knuckles yeah. guy, but like, Sonic Mania is definitely up there for sure, absolutely. And it's like, yeah, it's like, it's it's good that we know because again, it really was a rumor for a long time that they just had like a feud, and that's why we never got a Mania two. So to have like a bit yeah. of a better understanding of it, it's, it's good, it's good. Um, yeah, it was it was interesting that they made like a, a 2.5D prototype. Yeah, of Sonic and like I didn't get any more information into like what it was, yeah. but like that's like fascinating to me. I would love yeah. to like learn more about that. <laughs> mm -hmm. That would have been that would be. I'm sure. I hope one day we see it. You know, I'm sure one day someone will uncover it or something uh, like that. But yeah, okay. So that's that's your time with the, a lot of the zones. So you felt like they accommodated and everything. Now talk to me about this. There's a hub world, right? Yeah. So that's kind of a so big deal. It reminds me of Generations Hub World, okay. where like you can run from left to right, and mm -hmm. you know it, it's a two D stage. There's like very very light platforming elements. Is it a void? Is it like Generations where it's just a white void, or is there like a background? I think it's kind of like a void type okay. uh, aesthetic. Okay. But I, I can't remember a hundred percent. Okay. Um, but you know there uh, there's all the acts that you can go into there. Okay. And then. Um, it's kind of thematic as well. So like when you go up to Sky Temple, there's like an updraft that you step into right, and you kind okay. of float up. Okay, that's cool. Um, and then that's where you can change your character. Right. And also, um, I didn't really get any kind of look into this, but there's a customization element that right. I don't know what that's for. What so like I okay. like there were like there's like you can customize like head, arms, mm -hmm. legs, torso, and then there's something called prototype, which I have okay. no idea what that means. And you use the metals that you get from the non-chaos emerald special stages. Yeah, the gold medals right. that you get from either exploration or the non-chaos emerald special stages right. to buy those. And I don't know what that does. Okay, no, that's what I was gonna say. It's like, like, because to me that, that feels like a lot, you know? Like that you can, like what, you could change Sonic's torso, a fit the body, the armor, everything. Like that feels like a lot that you can do. I'm almost, I almost like, I don't know. Like, what would it even I mean, be? 
there's also that news of like the Lego skin. So I don't know if right. it's tied to anything like that, where it's like, mm. all right, you can equip the Lego skin in there. But like right. the customization elements I saw did not look like a, it, it wasn't like the, the Sonic Forces character creator or okay. anything like that. Like they didn't look like it was like, OK, this would look right on Sonic. Right. Like, you know, it, 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 it looked like different, like, okay. like almost like robotic or something. Did you see so any what... of them or no? Like, did you see like, was it an armor? A... Uh-huh. I unlocked like a dog head at okay. some point, okay. but I don't know like what it what it applies to. So yeah, like okay. I was just like, all right, cool. I like I I have this, and now what do I do? And like, yeah. I mean, so, I'd be happy if like characters had full customization. Like I can give like them like a different fit, a different hat, a different. Because you said there were color palettes too, right? Or patterns. Um, one of those categories is like yeah. One one of the category was pattern, but I don't right. know what that does because like I only had a few gold medals. Okay. So like I didn't get to like unlock. I just had enough for like a, the dog head that I liked. So. Okay. <laughs> okay, but that's that's cool. I mean, because we know like it's very clear that there's some outfits. Like we know there's a classic Amy outfit for like the newsletter. We know there's the Lego uh, costumes from the collab. So they're clearly leaning onto this idea, um, and I hope it is like crazy. Like I hope there is just you know. Knuckles with this cowboy hat or tails with this little, oh, you know, with his little um, helicopter fit or whatever, you know, like stuff like that would yeah. be really cool. Give us the Sonic Adventure 2 uh, outfit. Yes. Yes. Just let me play his modern Sonic in there. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. But uh, yeah, no, I mean, that's OK. So you didn't get to see too much of that. So like you said, and did the hub world have any indication of like missions? Because, you know, in, like generations, you could walk around. There's missions and different things. Were there yeah. any hints of that? I didn't see anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, it was mostly just like, all right, you can choose what zone you want to go okay. in and what act. So like, okay. that's where you can select. If like, say you chose to go to Act Two instead of Act Sonic, mm -hmm. you can go back and select Act Sonic from okay. there. Okay. Um, but yeah, you're just running around as the character that you chose. Okay. And uh, that's, I mean, it, that's really the gist of it. It was pretty simple, but I was like, oh, this is just like Generations. Okay, that's good. That's good that it felt like Generations. That's that's good. Um, what about like, did you get any cutscenes? You know, like any any types of cutscenes or sort of like Sonic Three and Knuckles. Oh. Oh shit! My shit froze for a second. Oh, hello. Okay, there you oh, go. God. You're back. You're, you're back. Did you're I back. freeze for a second? Okay, it's <laughs> you okay. Did. Yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, at the beginning, I got a cutscene where it looked like Eggman was hiring Fang. Okay. And then, like, as soon as he gives him the money, basically, like an alarm okay. goes off, and you see Sonic and Tails in the tornado, like flying towards, like, oh, flying okay, so it starts like that. Uh -huh. So that's how it kind of starts. And then um, I know that the basic story is that Sonic is going to this island because he heard Eggman is there trying to right. capture these giant animals to create really powerful robots. So I guess this island is known for having mm. giant sized animals. And at the end of every single um, Eggman battle, you actually free one of those giant animals. Okay. So cool. like there's like a giant walrus. There's like a. Yeah, the giant, a giant animals kangaroo. are really cool. Yeah, yeah, I saw those. That's awesome. I'm assuming that the pig robot's a giant pig. So who knows? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. So like, that's kind of like the basic premise. I didn't, I didn't really get any other cutscenes. Like, right. like I said, like the Fang thing was kind of like a story moment, but mm. it wasn't like a full on cutscene. No, yeah, I get we've that. We've seen we've seen that opening animation that got released, yeah. which looks great. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, nothing to that caliber. It's, been, okay. it's mostly been like I don't know if you've seen like those animations that like some sprite artists do where they like retell the events of like yes. Sonic Three. Yeah. Like, it's almost like reminds me of like those okay. types of things where it's okay. like yeah they're in like the 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 gameplay engine, but they're kind of just like doing like some animations that you wouldn't otherwise see right okay okay that's pretty that's pretty cool um how did you feel about what's it called were there any stage transitions like when you would go from act one to act two or or could you choose to not go to the hub world and continue to the next level like were there tr you stage do typically do that yeah you typically okay. do have a stage transition and you oh, that's just good. go straight from one to the next um that's good the first time i noticed it was sky temple to pinball carnival mm. i think he jumps in like something. Oh, God, now I'm blanking on what it is. Like I know there was a stage he had transition. One. Okay, that's good though. Uh, but yeah, so there, there are. They're not maybe as intricate as mm. Sonic Three and Knuckles or Sonic Mania. Um, right. Ultimately added with with plus. That's what they did, right? They yeah, it was plus. It with, yeah, uh, they added more. Yeah, they added plus. plus. They added. Yeah. God, it all blends together I at know. this point. I um, know. I get you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that was that was something cool that I noticed as well. Okay, cool. Um, what about? Was did you get any idea or hint or anything about like 
a possible other character because it's very clear like from the men like from the start screen where like there's like a spot on the left that's empty to even the end <laughs> of the first opening animation where it clear like it just clearly looks like there's like a spot left for someone you know um i didn't get any indication but i i did get con confirmation that shadow is not in the game okay damn it <laughs> so I, I i asked um izuka like flat out like hey, shadow. You, you added like a new enemy character did you ever think of adding Shadow as kind of um, like that third that third enemy? And he's like, nope, Shadow's still in a pod somewhere. Yeah. Like, he's, he's, he's still frozen at this point. Yeah, uh, that's good. That's good. Like, yeah, he's, he's they haven't met yet. In right. This point okay. In the timeline, basically. Mm. So, like, yeah, he's, he's not in in the game, unfortunately. That's good. Okay. All right. That's fair. And the, you didn't get any other character indications, right? You just saw Fang and Trip. Like, there was no hints or, or like, things that indicate any of the characters, any other characters in the series. <sighs> I don't think so. I'm trying to think back, like, if there were any other, like, I didn't see any, like, the Chaotix or anything like okay, that. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I don't think there were any other characters that popped up. I think okay. it was just, like, the four playable characters and the three mm. enemies. That's fair, yeah. What about, because um, obviously you said you'd, so what about the special stages? So are all the Chaos Emerald stages the, the vine swing type thing? Yeah, so if okay. you go into a, a that stage through mm. the gold ring, that is a chaos emerald. If right, you go through okay. it in a, a giant blue ring, then it's the gold medals. Okay. If you go into the kind of the the check there's, mark, there's there's the checkpoint uh, rings mm. that let you go in and do like kind of like the rotating like Sonic One stages, and right. those are usually like multi phase. Yeah, so like yeah, you go yeah. Through, I remember you that one puzzle, then you yeah. go to another one, then you go to another board, then mm. you go to another board. I think you can get up to five in that. Right. And then um, there's also one that was like kind of like a like a you were dropped. And You're like you falling like down, get, right? And yeah, you just yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that one. I remember that one. So those were kind of all the special stages that I observed. But yeah, yeah like the, and they're fast the, pace. Which yeah, is they are. And this, the swinging ones I had a really good time with. And I also mm. like I started learning more and more. Like, all right, you need to like not latch on to the first thing that your character locks on to. Like, okay. you need to let yourself like kind of float a little right. bit because then it'll lock on to like closer things to uh, the chaos emerald okay. and that's when you should swing and then also there's certain ones that'll just throw you towards the chaos emerald like okay. it's like a boost pad basically oh, that's, that's like ended so like there's like boost pads there's like bombs that if you latch mm. onto those it'll actually like kind of make you lose oh like, shit you, i was gonna say do they get harder because the, the, yeah, so, the first one i remember when like the first one i got at the summer gizzes it was so easy like, you just kind of swing yeah. to it so I, my worry was like are they all just gonna be i swing to it or is there a challenge no, they were pretty tough. Okay, actually. that's good. Like later, later on, um, there because like you also your timer is basically like supersonic, where you're dictated by like the rings that Why? you have. Why? Okay, that's cool. So that's cool. like it's counting down, so you can collect rings to extend the timer. But like once you run out, like it's just like nope, you failed. Goodbye. Okay. So that's... like that that was kind of how challenging that was. And, like right. they, the Chaos Emerald has like more movement. And the one that I did, I think it would have been for like the fourth or the fifth emerald. Uh huh. It was like there were like pillars blocking you, oh, so like you had really? to go okay. around them. So like the Chaos Emerald would like go around, and you'd be like, oh, you have like, to like chase. Okay, pillar. that's cool. That's yeah. kind of cool. Okay, that's dope. Um, that's a good question. So what about? So you asked about it, but the super forms, right? So it's just Sonic, as far as you know, that's gonna have a super form. The others no, just no. They turn... all have super forms. Well, no, no, like an, a unique form, right? And not just like they turn invincible yeah, it... and glow. Yeah, they're all invincible. They all okay. go faster, but like you know, Tails doesn't have his flickies, and it okay. doesn't seem like Amy or Knuckles have anything special about right. them in terms of like their forms. But I haven't seen their yeah. super forms. Okay, okay. Um, I'm assuming it's the same way it was in yeah. Origins Plus, where they just glow. Uh, minus, <laughs> minus the flickies. Yeah, minus <laughs> the flickies. That's fair. That's fair. Um, what about? Was there anything else? Did you, did you feel like there was anything else that was notable or cool about the game? Just bring up uh, my notes now. Yeah, no, go for it. Go for it. <laughs> um. You know, it's. I think those are the two big things with the emerald okay. powers and the the new zones and like just kind of getting okay. a feel for it. But like, yeah, like you know, I I had a really great time. I was really mm. happy with how it plays. Like, I'm sure you have told people on the yeah, channel as well that like the game plays so well. Like, mm. I, I I told uh, like Sonic Team when I was like after I finished playing, I'm like, yeah, that plays almost as good as Mania. Maybe like the same as Mania in right. terms of like. But like, the more I play it, the more I'm like, yeah, this this plays exactly like how I would want like a 2d sonic game with like modern visuals mm -hmm. to play because i think a lot of people probably that have like kind of that reaction from sonic 4 
were like, oh God, we don't want like another like modern yeah. visual Sonic yeah, platform. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. <laughs> they almost had to go to Mania to be yeah. like, look, it, it looks like the Sonic game that you remember playing yep. well. It doesn't play like that other game that we put out right. that was called Sonic 4 that nobody likes yeah, to acknowledge. No one exists. talks about. So like, and like, I think that this plays like I wish they would have just called this Sonic Four. Yeah, <laughs> because, like, I, that's agree, how it I agree with that. Yeah, I agree. I I think it's like I think companies just don't want to put that pressure. Like it's like they're yeah. not like Mario Wonder. I would have loved that, that was just called Mario Five. You know, you know, instead yeah, of yeah. Mario. But it's like I think they just want to do that so they don't set like a sequel expectation anymore. Um, but you know, it's like really like the overall. Like, do you think this can stand uh, side by side? Really, with like the 2d games like on the top like on I mean, yeah, top. It, it feels like kind of the true succession of sonic 1 sonic 2 sonic 3 sonic mm. and knuckles sonic mania um notice i'm skipping over one there and, yeah i see i see i <laughs> and, see uh, <laughs> and sonic superstar like, it, it really does feel like if you sat down and played through all of sonic origins mm. played through sonic mania and played sonic superstars it would feel like yeah this is like one cohesive awesome. series that's good that's good because that's always like kind of like not like the fear but like you know like it's a modern 2d game is it just going to be like dumbed down or is it really going to be like and because obviously with mania it said like i think because of the sprite work you know you you associate like the best 2d side games with like sprites or art or whatever um but to have one like this that's standing up uh with them is awesome and uh i really do hope they double down on the customization stuff that you know we we maybe are seeing you know i wonder what that yeah. prototype thing is i just i have no idea so weird. like I, it, it, I wonder if it's something like i don't know like unlockable or something because like i don't know what like mm -hmm. that would even be like with, like in the world of sonic like yeah unless you're talking about like sonic battle with like emerald <laughs> Like uh, that was his name, yeah. right? Yeah, Emerald. A general is a general or Emerald? It's there's two of them. There's there's a general and there's an uh, Emerald. There's a lot of them, man. Yeah, we should do Sonic <laughs> Battle too. That that's what I hope is next for the franchise. I agree. I agree. It's overdue. Sonic but now he's he got stuff in... Yeah. Oh my god. That'd be dope. But um, or or just give us Sonic Heroes on modern platforms. Please, please. I know. I mean, come on. <laughs> I'd love that, man. I'd love that. Um, but like, yeah, like it, it does feel like it's a worthy kind of successor Perfect. and I don't think it would feel weird. Like again, like I played Sonic 4 before I yeah. went and yeah, I played yeah. Sonic Mania after I went mm. and I was like, yeah, this feels a lot closer to Sonic Mania than it does that's Sonic perfect. 4, which, yeah, exactly. you know, is what you want essentially. Yeah. Awesome, man. No, that's, uh, I'm, I'm very excited. I mean, I, I'm assuming they keep saying fall. I'm guessing it's going to be, you know, around October, November. I know it leaked on a site that it was the god. 17th of October. Um, oh my god, please no. Which I hope not. I agree. Out, like, I know. Mario Wonder. Like, that week is Mario like Wonder. Spider-Man. Spider-Man 2. Alan yeah. Wake 2. Like, yeah. no, we, we don't need another game that <laughs> too week, many. please. Too many, too many, too <laughs> many, man. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's... Um, I just can't wait. I think uh, it's gonna. I think it'll be. Did you like? Because we know the game's full price, right? Do you think it's worth it? Just like, from what you know is in there, from re understanding so like replay value, special stages, everything. Do you feel like that'll be worth it? I mean, it seems like they're definitely like kind of playing into the replayability. Like that's what yeah, they said I vision agree. is like that's meant to like get you to explore more. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they they have the the multi pathways that is a trademark of Sonic. They want yeah. you to play it multiple times. That's all good. the characters play different. So perfect. I mean, it's it's always going to be challenging to be like, all right, yeah, drop sixty dollars for this yeah, game. For that, sure. Like, but at the same time, like, I would bet Mario Wonder is going to be sixty dollars. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah. Whatever. So, yeah. Like, which is there's always a perception, like, you know? It's like it's always like, which is I think like. I genuinely think it's like, that's why they don't do sprites, you know? Cause sprites of the hardcore fans like us would love. But again, public perception is like, oh, that's just an old game, you know? Whereas when you look at, when you give it 3D models, like people think that's a new fresh look, you know? I was actually surprised at like the, the comments that I got when I published um, Izuka's quote about like, how they wanted to move into like a modern visual aesthetic instead right. of 2D sprites and everything. And he was mm. just like, you know what, when you do 2D sprites, like, People in like the core audience really love that. People who grew up with like the Genesis Sonic yeah. games really love that. But you kind of limit your audience. And I thought people were gonna like kind of tear that quote apart, but they're like, he's right. Sonic yeah. Mania was like a really fun like throwback, but I think it's time for it like is. a modern. It looks like, good. Like, it looks so nice. Like it looks yeah, beautiful. It looks great and it looks so yeah. good in motion. Like, yeah, it looks yeah. good in screenshots, but it good. looks great in yeah. motion. Oh, I want to ask one more notable thing. Uh in the Summer Games this build we played, the game had some performance issues. Were those cleared here? Was it pure 60 FPS here or were there moments? 
I feel like my build may have been a little bit more stable. There were times where it would like slow down a very little bit, but like that's, okay. it's challenging to know if that's just because it's you know it's a game in development. Yeah, there was exactly. also like a part in uh, Lagoon City that I didn't really mention because like it was like. It, again, pre-release build right. is probably again uh, that, if that leak date is to be believed, it's going to be like you know five months fixed. before yeah. the game comes out, right? Yeah, or four yeah. months before it comes out. So it's like, uh, but like basically, like I would get stuck kind of on like the the water oh, slide okay. because I was trying to get off. But like it's like that could very easily be fixed. They can fix um, that for sure. But yeah, like you know, it's it's worth noting. And then if it doesn't get fixed by the the time the game comes out, it's like, all right, that was that was a problem. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, like you know, it's it's an in development build, cool. so it's very tough to like really take them to task for like performance issues unless yeah, it's like no. you know live show quality in which case then you have to kind of bring it up mm. yeah no it's uh we're, we'll see i mean we're getting near the release i'm very excited for it yeah. and uh yeah hopefully we can talk more about it when it's out but yeah no that's uh, everything so guys uh, i think that's all the info that's everything we got thank you all for watching now of course brian let me know give plug yourself you know what's going on what you do tell tell the people you know yeah, so you can go to GameInformer.com slash Sonic Superstars for all of our exclusive coverage. We're rolling out videos. We're rolling out uh, written Perfect. articles. And then also every Friday, I have the All Things Nintendo podcast, uh, which my man right here has guested on yes. once before to talk <laughs> Sonic Frontiers. Uh, maybe we'll have you back on for Sonic Superstars Please. when that game comes out. But yeah, that comes out every Friday. And then, Perfect. of course, GameInformer.com for all the day-to-day mm. -day stuff. And the videos you guys are going to have, is it going to be from the stages you played, like the later ones? Um, right now, it's, it's interview just stuff. Gonna, like interviews. Okay, so, like, we cool. sat down with uh, like three different Perfect. people from Sonic Team, including Azuka, and awesome. kind of really dope. Deep. Like, literally had two hours of video footage of okay, Azuka <laughs> last week. So, yeah, Alrighty. it's a lot of stuff. So Perfect. You look out for that on our on the Game Informer YouTube channel as well. Alrighty, cool. Perfect. So, guys, thank you all for watching. Uh, make sure, of course, subscribe to your boy for more Sonic Superstars content. I'll be giving you that all the time. And Brian, thank you for joining me here today. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Peace out, everybody. Thank you.